right now. You are listening to the audio to the all brand new, just came out today when this video came out, Solidcom C1 by Hollyland. And yes, this is a fully self-contained wireless communication system. No wire, no belt pack, none of that. I'm so excited about this. And yeah, this is the uh, audio test. How about that? Right at the top of the video, before the intro and everything. Here we go. Intro. Roll it. years ago, Hollyland sent me the Mars T1000 unit uh, wireless comm system. And then uh, last year in 2021, they sent me the Solidcom M1 system. Very nice system. And this year, they're bringing out the Solidcom C1. And this looks like a much more portable unit, uh, just based on this is the this is everything that is the C1 is contained in this case. And it's kind of a uh, fabric-y feel of case, but it is like semi-hard, as you can hear, but it gives a little bit. So let's get this thing open and see what we're working with. So right away, when we open it, we got a little pouch at the top here, a zipper section. Let's just get right into that. Just get that stuff over with. Cause it's probably gonna be, yes, our charger, well, the charging cable, rather. And you have some extra ear pads right here. But everything was in its own individual package because we've already started testing this and using it in our church. Um, but I actually changed these out. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. We have a USB-C to regular USB-A cable. And then we have a couple extra microphone guards there, mouth guards, mouth somethings, wind screen things. Right here in the main section of the box, we see that we have four, well, there's only three in my box because we've already started testing the system and I have one literally hanging on a microphone so that way you can hear the audio test because there's no way to tap into this uh, and send the audio to like a separate system uh, as far as like with a eighth inch cable like I did in the past. So I, w I hung that on a microphone as you can see so that way we can get a better idea of what this sounds like. But before we get to the headsets themselves, let's talk about this right here. Now, all these were in their own separate packages, just to let you know. This is not a proper unboxing, sorry. I've already used the system, let's be honest. This is your charger, and it comes with eight batteries as well as eight battery slots, though that way you can charge all of them at the same time, or you can have four in your headsets, because it comes with four headsets, and have four on the charge. So now let's move on to these headsets. All right, so you have four headsets that come with this system. Oh, I like the feel of that bag. That's nice. That's different than the other bags. And the most important of the four headsets right here, the one that has the red nameplate. What's really neat about this system, it, it is fully self-contained uh, within the headset. So you don't have an extra belt pack like you did on the other systems, which means you don't have a base station. So really the only thing that needs to sit somewhere, if you even want to take it out of the box that it comes with, is the battery charger. That's it. And it just has one port on it for uh, the charger itself. So let's go ahead and get that going. And as you can see on the charger, it does give you an LED light to indicate whether it's charged or not. If it's orange, it's charging. If it's green, they're ready to go. Simple as that. With this system, you get four headsets. There is one that, like I said, is the most important headset of the system, and that's the one with the red nameplate. The nameplate says Solidcom C1. The other headsets, the other three headsets, have a blue nameplate. And the reason why this is the most important is because the one with the red nameplate is the main one. So it, it almost takes the place of like a base station. And you have to have this one on and in use. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be in use, it can be muted, but it needs to be on for the other ones to be able to work together. So that way you have full use of the actual comm system. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and establish connection with our other headsets. Now I do have a headset I need to put a battery in. Grab a battery and uh, slide it right in. Close it down, you're good to go. Now I can turn this headset on. You do have an LED light that is the indicator of uh, whether it's connected to the main headset, so like your 
the red label. Um, and if it's a flashing green light, that means it's not connected. And if for some reason that light is flashing, it's not paired with your main headset. So you have to take your main headset, they call it the master headset, and hold uh, the A button on it and the other headset for five seconds at the same time. And the system should pair. You'll hear an indication in the in the headset itself. If it's not on your ear, you may not hear that, but the light will turn uh, solid green like it is now. Continuing on with the headset, it does have a set of buttons. You have the plus button that is the uh, volume up, and you have a minus button, volume down. You have the A button that is used for pairing, and then you have the B button uh, that's used for if you connect the system uh, to other systems. I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. This is an overview of just it in itself. On this other side here, it does have a, where the battery goes in, it does have a very nice plush, soft, I, I guess you would call that like pad to where it sets on the side of your head and feels better than just, you know, some piece of plastic. So it actually is really soft. I don't feel it one bit when I'm wearing this for an extended period of time. And it does come with two different type of ear cups or ear pieces. That way you can either have this sitting on your ear or, which is a soft foam. It was okay, I did use it for a little while. Um, or you do have this uh, ear cup that has the, uh, like a similar type of feel as this side uh, that goes around your ear and your ear sits inside of that. So it's a little, probably a little bit better sound cancellation. What Hollyland, I guess, decided to do, and I didn't even see this in the manual, I guess I didn't read the manual fully, but uh, what they decided to do, instead of having a button, like a mute button, which would be totally fine, just have an extra button on the side, just click that and it's muted. They decided to make the arm, the microphone arm, which makes sense because every single time I've used a system uh, on the other headsets, I've slid the microphone arm up straight up and that works because it has good sound cancellation. However, what they did is they put the mute button inside of this arm. So when this arm is pivoted at 12 o'clock, it's muted. You, do, you don't hear any audio out of this microphone. But once you pivot that down, then you can start hearing audio again. Okay. So let's go back to audio quality. The other videos that I've done, I've been able to tap in straight to the audio of the system just by plugging an eighth inch cable into the belt pack. Now this one, I'm not able to do that. I literally have the speaker, the earpiece speaker, hanging on a, uh, an Earthworks microphone. So that way you can get a better idea of what this audio sounds like. It's not a direct audio to your ear as this would be, but it gives you probably a pretty good indication of what the audio does sound like. That's what the comm sounds like. I do really enjoy the sound of this. Uh, it doesn't sound quite as good as the Solidcom M1, but it's an excellent sound. It sounds better than the Mars T1000. I'll just say that. And it's expandable, and you can add more of these headsets, uh, which is really cool. You, I think you can have up to five headsets uh, paired with the one master headset. It comes with four, including the master, but you can add two more of these. Another thing about the audio is I can hear myself in the ear, which is really nice, especially if you're in a louder environment. You can he actually hear what you're saying and not have to speak as loud or feel like you're having to speak as loud, which is really nice. We're out here at a local university or college or community college community or city, city, whatever it is. Whatever. Uh, we are gonna do the range test on the Solidcom C1. And it says it gets a thousand feet like straight shot. So that's line of sight from the main head unit. But that's how I'm understanding it. We're just gonna try to go thousand foot line of sight from this unit straight out that way. 334 Tuesday March 29th 2022 at the <laughs> Greenville Tech campus. You keep talking Gabe. You hey that's talking. what I do best. There's a van. All right you're about a hundred feet. All right we're a tenth of the way there. People we are going off road. Yeah you're about 300 feet now. Well, Climbing. 280. Oh yes. Getting some elevation. I hear someone breathing hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the wind, isn't it? No, that's Michael. That's, that's Michael. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to keep up. All right, on with the uh, voyage. Is that a good? Hold on. What is that over there? In the? Oh, that's a cone. <laughs> I thought it was a green <laughs> guitar. <laughs> Man, with my distance. 
talk uh, to me. You're at 750. 750. 750, all right. Quarter of the way. We're almost there. Is it breaking up? It's not breaking up for me. Okay, Is it breaking up yeah, for you? No, it's good. It's breaking up for me a little bit. Oh, you know what? I, when I turned around, I did. It is starting to cut out a little bit. It's good. We're still on a site. Now, yeah. the cars are going to start getting in the way, but let's just kind of see. I guess I keep moving toward that pod. Right now, we're at 878, or 885, rather. Okay. There's a little trail bond that goes all the way around there, but you can good. cut back to your right a little bit. I'm starting to break up a little bit, but I don't know if that's because of the Ooh, that was a little... Yeah, I heard a little... Going. It's still kind of line of sight, though. I can see y'all. I can still see. <laughs> oh, on the bright side. What do you mean? Just, let's go that way. On the bright side, more towards the constant line. communication with me. You'll know when something goes wrong. Yeah. I can see you, though. That's what matters. You know, through cars... And through a fence, kind of in the woods, it, it handles really well. Yeah, okay, you are at, keep going, keep going, keep going. 1,000 feet right there, stop. 1,000 oh, oh, feet. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, through cars, come on, we got to give them some credit, right? Can you hear me? Uh-oh. Uh, I can hear you. Oh, there we go. I can hear you I now. can hear you guys. Is it breaking up? It is breaking up. Just a little. Okay, hold on just a second. All right, man, we're at it. We're at it. we've hit a thousand feet, so y'all can start walking back. Yeah. All right. As soon as I walk back five feet, can you hear me now? I mean, technically, it, so you were over one thousand feet because yeah. the drone was behind you. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just I'm sure that it was a, a flat line of sight. It would not break up as much, but yeah. because it is a curvy wooded with a bunch of cars you know well we're in your back line of sight now exactly it's only one black car in the way right here perfect line of sight yep and you're crystal clear yeah so that's true how's really the wind well. sound how's the wind noise because i have wind hitting me straight on i honestly i can't hear y'all go ahead on and, your end y'all go ahead and start coming back okay like i have wind hitting me can you hear it no yeah exactly so i hear michael's wind <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys could tell this thing will reach to a thousand feet of course there is more detail on that on their website on like what that actually looks like um, as far as like being able to reach further distances from calm to calm but as long as you have this red one at the center or at a fixed location and you need you need distance uh, this will get you to and that's a that's a huge distance that's like like why do you need to go that far so uh thoughts about the audio quality stuff like that what do you think if it was a perfect line of sight i think it could go above a thousand if we tried but yeah i think it could for this test a thousand feet with a couple of vehicles a fence and it was a wooded area it still handled as exactly as described yeah i believe so what do you think mike I think it went really, really well. It's lighter, it doesn't feel like it crushes your head. I mean, it doesn't, yeah. like... I, I definitely will say that walking, I could do this with this headset all day. Yeah. It, it, it hooks onto your ear, doesn't let go, but it is comfortable, it's light. You could just keep it going yeah. all day, every day. Yeah, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Like, the band up here is super, super flexible. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's one thing I like about these ones. Oh my yeah. gosh. All right, well, good. Okay, you heard it from the team. We like them. I think we'll keep them, if they'll let us keep them. <laughs> now, these headsets are quite a bit different than what we've seen in the past. So this is the headset for the SolidCom M1. Beefy, it's got really thick uh, head strap. It's got a really thick pad here. Um, all the plastic is just very high quality. I mean, everything on this is just just because this looks a little more less quality, the materials are very high quality and feel. The way it feels to my, my hand is like, oh wow, that head strap actually feels really nice. The metal that runs through the head strap feels strong. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break by any means. The plastic's the same quality plastic and grade of fit and finish, as, as, as they say, of the other headset. And I believe they make it this way to make it a little bit more portable, still robust, yet small, portable, but still very high quality. The fit and finish is really nice. And that's one thing I like about Hollyland is that I'm not concerned about the fit and finish of the product that they that they bring out. But I, I really wouldn't be worried about it. I feel like this is gonna hold up for a long time. The durability is decent. The buttons are real, you know, nice and 
clicky. If you are a production team looking for a high quality comm system, whether it's church production or video production, and you're wanting durability yet portability, because look, I mean, it all fits in this. If you're wanting that, if that's your desire, I think this is the perfect system for you. Very high value, very high quality, high quality audio, relatively comfortable. I guess that would be the only thing that would concern me most is the, the comfort level uh, when these are used for a long time. If that's what you're looking for, I think this is a great system. I highly recommend this. Uh, we're gonna keep using this for a little while as long as they allow us to use this at our church. and. I, uh, you know, if anything comes up, I'll let you know. That's my take on the brand new Hollyland Solidcom C1. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. I have linked everything I need to link below so that way you can go check it out for yourself, read the specs. I mean, there's all kinds of other little specs that I don't really care to talk about because it's written right there on their website. Leave a comment below telling me what kind of comp system you use or if you're interested in something like this. I'm just glad it's an all-in-one fully self-contained. I think that's whew, finally, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Oh, I should have did that right here. Oh yeah. Remember,